I put the 2017 Warriors in the 90s to see if they could end Michael Jordan's dynasty before it even begins. As you can see, we're starting off in the 1991-1992 season, and the season prior, Michael Jordan, he won his first NBA championship, beating Magic Johnson and the Lakers in five games. Will the 2017 Warriors be able to stop Michael Jordan's first three feet? And we're already starting off with a Steph MVP, 30 points, 10 assists. First round for the Warriors, they have a matchup against the Clippers. In the East, the Chicago Bulls are the number three seed. Very surprisingly, they are not not the first seed. Oh, by the way, I did put Chris Mullen on the Knicks because I had to put him somewhere. He was originally on the Warriors, obviously. I just put him on his hometown team. I, that probably was a mistake because now they're the first seed. The Golden State Warriors are now up against Portland, who actually made it to the finals in real life in 1992, but lost to Michael Jordan and the Bulls in six games, which was ranked number two of three of the first three beat. And then the Chicago Bulls are up against the Indiana Pacers, so a pretty good team, but we're just gonna simulate the round. Both teams, I would be surprised if either of them lost, and the Chicago Bulls have lost to the seventh seed as the third seed to the Indiana Pacers. Golden State's now up against Phoenix who made it to the NBA Finals in real life and the Golden State Warriors are now up 3-0. Simulate one more game and now we have a Knicks and a Warriors Finals. The Knicks are now in the Finals a couple seasons early. Patrick Ewing is going to be guarded by Zaza. Also, I don't know who Sam Bryant is. 2K just added him to the roster but most importantly Kevin Durant is injured and so is Andre Iguodala. Oh, Kevin Durant broken right ankle. Oh, he got injured in the Conference Finals. Iguodala is also out with a severe left ankle sprain. He he might come back. And Steph is also banged up, but he's day-to-day. -day. It's a one-to-one -one series lead, or a tie, I should say. Simulate one more game. The Warriors take game three. The Warriors take game four. They're up one to three, or three to one. Who says it backwards? We're hopping into the SimCast. It's a back-and-forth game, and it looks like the Knicks are about to force a game six if they don't choke at the very last second. Steph playing 44 minutes, 26 points, 13 assists. Clay Thompson, 24 points. We're about to see if game six Clay exists in the 90s. Back-and-forth, fourth quarter. The Knicks with the lead. Oh, and it looks like the Knicks are about to win. They're forcing a game seven. Game six, Clay, only 12 points on four of 18. We're in game seven, Golden State with the lead, but just barely, just barely, only a three point lead. Oh, it's a really close game. Holy, we might have to jump in. A minute left, two point game, game seven. Two point game, and for some reason, Sean Livingston is on the court. Wait, 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 wait. Steph has 46 and 10, but I bet you he's fouled out. He's fouled out. Clay Thompson's fouled out. Bro, I saw an auto generated player on the Knicks too. Somebody fouled out. Patrick Ewing has all also fouled out and Mark Jackson. Unbelievable. Who is this with the ball? Pass it off to John Starks, who's trying to drive on Iguodala. That's not gonna end well. That's definitely not ending well. Passes it out. Who is that with the ball? I don't know who just shot it, but he just tied up the game. Bro, we have an NBA Finals, the first Warriors Finals. Patrick Ewing, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson are all fouled out. Draymond Green's about to end the game. No. Season on the line over to Zaza. Passes it over to Iguodala. Who's about to shoot it, bro? There's no way. Oh my god. Iggy was so open, he did not shoot it. He passes it over to Zaza with the game on the line. He throws it away. Spin move. The auto-generated player tries to dunk on Sean Livingston. Can't believe what I'm watching right now. I'm literally dying. Iguodala with the ball. I want Iguodala. No way. He throws it down to Draymond for the game. Oh my god, bro. No way you're about to get sent home by Draymond Green. Of all the people to hit a game winner. Six seconds left. Don't throw it into the auto-generated player. What are you doing? Honestly, you deserve to lose. What is he even doing? He's definitely missing that. Golden State Warriors are NBA champions. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, Steph crying, bro. He's so lucky. Draymond Green saved his legacy. I guess he did win the finals MVP, so you can't say he got bailed out. But imagine they lost, though. So right now, the Golden State Warriors have foiled Michael Jordan's first three-peat. But honestly, bro, they lost in the second round, so it's not even like the Warriors' fault. Michael Jordan's first three-peat technically ended at the hands of Rick Smith. We're now on to the 92-93 season where Michael Jordan in real life beat Charles Barkley and the Phoenix Suns in six games to complete his first three-peat. Also, a side note, Charles Barkley won his MVP in this season, but in this simulation, steps going back to back. Both the Golden State Warriors and the Chicago Bulls are the number one seed, and both teams have made it to the conference finals. Bulls are now up against Scott Skiles, Larry Johnson, and Muggsy Bogues on the Hornets. They are about to cook them. You know what? Honestly, I'm kind of rooting for the Hornets now because I want to see Dell versus Steph. And then the Clippers are also playing against the Warriors, but come on, bro. This team's not beating them. I think, honestly, we're probably going to see our first matchup between the two teams. The Warriors have made it to the finals. It's a 3-2 to two series for the Bulls. I don't know what's going on right now. And apparently, it's going to game seven. The Bulls are about to blow a three to one lead. Simulate with Simcast. No way Muggsy Bogues is going to eliminate Michael Jordan. Oh my god, they're running away with it. Michael Jordan's choking. What's going on right now? Why? Why? I'm, I'm, at, I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. What happened? Michael Jordan played well. Scottie Pippen played well. Somebody had to have gone off on the Hornets. Larry Johnson with 36 and 9. 13 of 21 shooting. Kendall Gill 22 points. Del Curry 11 points. Didn't miss a shot. Okay, bro. I was kind of joking when I said I wanted the Hornets. 
Hornets to win. I kind of wanted to see a matchup between Michael Jordan and the Warriors. That's kind of the whole point of the video. But right now, the Warriors are cooking the Hornets. They're up 3 to 0. Oh, and oh, I was about to, I was like prepared to say they swept. It's about to be a gentleman sweep. The Golden State Warriors have won their second championship. And Steph already has outnumbered Michael Jordan's rings and his finals MVPs. Are we even going to see a matchup between the two teams? We are now in the 1993 94 season. And this is the season where Michael Jordan retired to play baseball. Obviously, in 2K, he's still on the roster. But what I'm going to do, obviously, I can't make him retire in the game. But what I will do is I'm going to give him a fake injury. Apparently, he had his wind knocked out of him. I don't know how many days I'm going to put him injured, just enough for him to like not play, obviously. And it's going to be Clyde Drexler, not Hakeem, who won it in real life. He is going to stop Steph Curry's MVP streak. Steph's on the first team, 30 points per game, still going strong. KD's also on the first team as well, still putting up basically the same stats. Draymond Green, not on the first defensive team, but on the second this time. Has Klay Thompson got an award yet? No, Klay Thompson only has rings. Patrick McCaw is still here. He's injured. Oh, and he was kind of playing minutes too. Oh, and also he's getting pretty old, man. He's ancient. Also, the Chicago Bulls are the seventh seed. Wait, why is Michael Jordan back? Bro, we all saw it. He was injured. What happened? He just came back for the last 25 games? Okay, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I don't know what's going on right now. Chicago Bulls have been eliminated round one, which makes sense. And the Golden State Warriors are back in the finals. We're gonna have a rematch. Can they 3 P? The Hornets team is basically the same. They have George Merson. They also have Sean Kemp, Larry Johnson. They also have Winston Garland, who's Darius Garland's dad, which is also really cool. But I think the Warriors are about a 3 P. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Hold on. The Hornets are up 2-0. They actually kind of have a squad. The Warriors take game three. Game number four goes to the Hornets. We're simulating with Simcast. Can the Warriors come back 3-1 instead of losing 3-1? Klay Thompson's injured, by the way. We should probably check on that. But so far, it looks like the Warriors are about to win this game. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down a little bit. Two minutes left. A minute and a half left. It's still a tie game we're jumping in. As you can see, the game is on the line. But Kevin Durant, he's missing again. And somehow, someway, I don't even know how it's possible, Kevin Durant has fouled out in only 18 minutes of play. Anyways, the game did not actually end in regulation thanks to a clutch Steph Curry floater. And then with a minute and a half left in overtime, the Charlotte Hornets subbed in Muggsy Bowes. And somehow, someway, he was able to force a travel on Steph. Bro, what just happened? Violation. I don't know what's going on with the camera right now. Yo, what's going on right now? Why is the camera... I had to go into SimCast and like simulate like 10 seconds. J.R. Reed at the line. Unfortunately, because I SimCasted, we couldn't see him get fouled. But you can blame 2K for that and whatever that camera angle was. And he makes both free throws. Golden State Warriors might lose to the hands of Muggsy Bogues and Sean Kemp and Larry Johnson and Del Curry, ironically. Iguodala with the ball. Iguodala driving in. He passes it off to the auto-generated player who misses the layoff. Steph Curry with the game on the line doesn't even touch the ball. Clay Thompson hasn't touched the ball since we started simulating. Not looking good for the Warriors. Kendall Gill at the line. He misses the free throw, but it's a five-point game with 25 seconds left. And the Charlotte Hornets are NBA champions. Miraculously, kind of miraculously, but they end the Warriors' chance at a 3 P. So Michael Jordan's not getting a 3 P. Kevin Durant's on the bench, sad as hell. I would be pretty sad too if I fouled out in less than 20 minutes. Sean Kemp with the finals MVP. Congratulations. 1994-95. Michael Jordan's back. Obviously, Scotty's still here. The simulation. Drazen is here. Oh, and also Verajau's on the Bulls, which is kind of interesting. I didn't put him there. Warriors are about the same, but they have 35-year-old Larry Nance. Mark Eaton's on a minimum. Patrick McCaw still ancient. KD and Steph, the rating has gone down. I'm assuming because they're starting to get old, which isn't really realistic. They're still good in real life. But yeah, they're starting to regress a little bit. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it in the hands of 2K. Steph with the MVP. Third MVP of the video. Bulls are the fourth seed against the Pistons, and the Warriors are the number one seed. Simulate the round. If the Bulls lose, which they didn't, Charlotte Hornets the number one seed up against the Chicago Bulls, and the Golden State Warriors against the fifth seed Portland Trailblazers, who have Clyde Drexler, Dominique, but he's pretty old, 35, still putting up 22 a game, though. And the Warriors sweep, but it looks like Michael Jordan's folding again. Unbelievable. The Charlotte Hornets, forget about the Bulls. But again, we have a rematch between the Hornets and the Warriors in the finals, and I'm just gonna simulate it real quick. I don't know what's going on right now. Two to two. 3 to 2 for the Hornets, and it looks like I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know how they're so good. I mean, the roster's good, which explains why they're good, but I don't know how they made the roster like that. Obviously, I have no control over them, and it looks like I probably should have jumped in. It was only a three point game. Charlotte Hornets, championships again, champions again. 1995, 96, the Chicago Bulls, 72 wins, an NBA record at the time. Part of it, of course, was the addition of Dennis Rodman, and ultimately, it led to a 4 to 2 series win against the Seattle Supersonics, kicking off Michael Jordan's second three. Because of that, I've added Dennis Rodman to the roster. I didn't really change anything else. Obviously, Drazen was here from the simulation, but the bench, I'm just leaving it alone. Also, Dennis Rodman, they didn't update his hair for this. Warriors are about the same as well. Still got the main core. They have a rookie, Michael Finley, who's only a 75. Patrick McCaw's a 74. And I saw A. McKinney. I thought Alfonso McKinney made it. That's actually kind of funny. Penny Hardaway.
Hardaway MVP. Very surprising. Steph's not going back to back. KG's on the Nets early. The Bulls are the third seed against the Hawks. And the Warriors are the second seed against the Warriors. We're just gonna simulate the round. And the Chicago Bulls just got eliminated first round again. They are awful. Like, they're actually terrible. I don't know what's going on. Bro, this team's not good. How did they lose? Oh, and the Warriors did not take care of business. They got swept. Whoa, what happened? Who's on the... Dallas, I know they have Shaq. They have Shaq and, like, nobody else, really. We have to check out the playoff stats because I don't know what's going on right now. Steph, 26. KD, 25. Clay 16. Clay's not really, like... I mean, he's good, but he's not that good. The Charlotte Hornets have three-peated for some reason. I don't know why they're taking the play the Bulls. They have more rings than the Warriors right now. The video started to get too weird, so I had to intervene. So I gave the Warriors a half-decent bench, nothing too crazy. And also, I gave a little plus one, plus two to KD, Curry, Steph, and Draymond. And of course, to make it fair, I also did that for the Bulls. Anyways, we are now on to the 1996-1997 season, where the Chicago Bulls won 69 games, and eventually made it to the finals and won in six games against the Utah Jazz, making that two of the three rings of Michael Jordan's second three-peat. Shaq with the MVP, shooting 50 percent from the line. Allen Iverson, Rookie of the Year on the Vancouver Grizzlies. Oh, yeah. Bro, the 96 draft. Toby's on the box. Steve Nash is on the Suns, ironically. Ray Allen's on the Pistons. The Warriors are only the second seed. They're playing the Kings, who really aren't that impressive, really. And the Chicago Bulls with the assist. They are the number one seed. They've got the big three. Simulation was just cooking them, so I had to, like, intervene a little bit. But don't worry, the Charlotte Hornets, they're still lurking. We're simulating the first round. Right now, it's a 2-2 two two series lead for the Warriors. Or I should say a tie, not a lead. Oh, wait, they won it in... Oh, yeah, it's the best of five. And right now, they're down 0-2 to the Denver Nuggets, who have Mahmoud abdul Rauf, James Worthy, Lafonso Ellis, and Matumbo. Luke Longley's playing center for the Warriors, so he has his work cut out for him. All I ask is for one finals matchup between the Bulls and the Warriors. All I ask is one. I mean, can they come back from 3-0? It's 3-1 now. And nope, they've been eliminated. The Bulls are still here. We're simulating the playoffs, and the Bulls have won the championship. So I gave an assist to both teams, and only, I was gonna say, Michael Jordan capitalized but apparently Scottie Pippen, he's the better player. And we are now down to the final season of the video, 1997-1998. In real life, the Chicago Bulls won 62 games. Michael Jordan won MVP and again beat the Utah Jazz in the finals, securing their third three-peat, and it would be the last ring that he won for the rest of his career. And Seth, in the last season of the video, has won MVP, which gives him four. He also obviously has the two rings, six first-team All-NBA, one second-team All-NBA, seven All-Stars. Oh, by the way, all of these awards are like off of a clean slate. So his old MVPs, obviously, his old all-star appearances, obviously, they're not there. Side note, Tim Duncan's on the Pistons. He's also paired up with Ray Allen, which should be a good duo, but it's not gonna matter because the video is about to end. Warriors first seed, Bulls third seed, and I think Michael Jordan is injured. Michael Jordan is actually injured. Broken right ankle. I'm just gonna take care of that real quick. There we go. Going to assume both teams are going to win their first round matchups, and they do. Golden State's up against Sacramento, and the Nets are up against the Bulls. The Nets have KG, Dominic. Monique Wilkins, John Stockton, Kenny Anderson, Kevin Willis, bro, they could potentially eliminate the Bulls. Game one goes to the Nets. Game two goes to the Nets. Game three goes to the Bulls. Also, in the meantime, the Warriors are in good shape. Game number three goes to the Nets. No way the Bulls are about to get eliminated. Are we really gonna go the whole video without them meeting in the finals? I haven't even simcasted anything for the Bulls. I don't know why they're losing. It looks like they're gonna win this game. Oh, wait, no, it's pretty close. Okay, it's really close. I think they're good, though. They might be good, maybe, possibly, five-point game. So, they're going to game six. Michael Jordan on the brink of elimination, and right now it's not looking too good for him. No way they're about to lose, bro. No way Michael Jordan folded this badly in the video. There's no way he's going out like this. Losing by almost 20. KG with 21, 21, and 9. Michael Jordan with only 25 points. What's happening, bro? You need to drop at least 40. It's the last dance, literally. You're about to retire. Come on, bro. Kobe had 60 in his last game, and you mean to tell me in your last playoff game you're only gonna drop 25, Michael Jordan? Come on, man. Also, on a side note, the Warriors are down 3-2 to two to the Mavericks. I don't know why it's saying that Draymond Green should play less. Right now, it's a back-and-forth game. Looks like the Mavs are running away with it a little bit. Kind of, not really. Not really at all. And it looks like it's going to be a Dallas Mavericks victory. So both the Warriors and the Bulls have been eliminated to end the video. Just out of curiosity, I want to see who wins the finals between the two. The Nets have won the finals. I'm assuming Kevin Garnett with the finals MVP. I can't end the video like this. We have to have at least one finals matchup between the two teams. It's now 
1999. Michael Jordan should be retired by now. So I've set it up. We're going to have one final deciding series between the two teams. Game number one is going to the Warriors. Game number two is going to the Warriors. Game number three also, what is going on right now? I thought I thought this would be a little more intense, a little more close. Are the Bulls about to get swept? Looks like they might be able to force a game five. Imagine the Bulls come back down 3-0. Oh, no, okay. The Golden State Warriors have completely disrupted the 1990s. Steph with his third championship of the video compared to Michael Jordan's one. Obviously, when you think of 2017 Warriors, obviously you think of Steph, Clay, Dre, but you also think of Kevin Durant. Yet it's Steph again stealing the show. He ends the video off with four MVPs, three rings, and one completely dismantled dynasty. And if you want to watch another My League simulation video, click on the video on the screen.